Okay, once we change the layer, now we need to create the rest of the columns. And in this case, we are going to use the command array, AR, enter. We're going to select our object, enter. And we have three types of arrays. is a um, rectangular array, we have path array, and we have polar array. Rectangular, create copies in a rectangular and a, or square way. The path, create copies along specific line you want to create. And polar array, create copies around a circle, using the center of that circle as a base point. In this case, we are going to use rectangular array. Don't, don't be afraid, this is what comes with the, with the command by definition. We have to use our keyboard and move down. And now we need to change number of columns. We need to enter. The spacing between that column is um, between these columns is 11 feet, three inches, enter. Now we need to go again to the keyboard, and change the roads. We need two roads, enter. And the spacing, we need to create those, those copies uh, to the downside. So we need to type a negative um, value would be minus 18 feet, three inches. Enter, two times enter, enter. So now we have our columns. Now we need to create now the, the rest, the other columns, the circular ones that we have here on this area and we need to know the measurement of that column is six inches and they are separate from our first column, 11 inches, 11 feet, eight inches and nine feet, two inches. So let's make a circle with the common circle is a C. We need to, we select the center point and we need to now to tape the radius. We have eight, six inches diameter have to be half of that value so we type three inches and now we have our circle what we need to do is to copy this and the grid lines to the side we want to move in this case to this side we don't need to type a, um, a negative value we only move our mouse to the, the direction we want. So in this case, we have five, uh, 11 feet, eight inches. Enter. And the second one will be, if we sum the two values, will be 20 feet, 10 inches. And we are okay. Okay, enter. Now we are going to raise this circle with the comma erase. Enter. Okay, now we, are, we need to create the rest of the columns. We have two columns here. We need four columns more. So we are going to use array again. Enter. We select the two items we need. Enter. Rectangular columns we need just one column enter the spacing between those columns will be nine feet two inches and we need to change the rows we, we are going to have three enter the spacing will be minus nine feet one inch enter to enter one two and now we have the rest of a uh, of our 
of our columns. Now we need to create these three columns that are, are in the front that are like a source of fan, creating like a sh fan shape. So the first thing we're going to do is to create this column that is nine feet, one inch away. I think it's the easier way to do it. We select this uh, object, copy, and we're going to move it nine feet, one inch, enter. Now we are going to create a line, L, enter, between these two lines, enter, and now we're going to rotate. This columns has 45 degrees of in a, as a angle, the angle between them is 45 degrees. So we are going to rotate this line. So we are going to use the command rotate, enter, select the line, enter. And now we are going to use the base point, it will be this one. We need 45 degrees, enter. Now we have the line that will work as a base to our um, copy. So let's copy this one, and paste here. So we have two options, I'll create the same line and make a, another copy here, or we can use uh, the command mirror. Command mirror, we, we create a, a mirror on the other side of the, of the object where we want. So if we select this one, enter. So now we are, you have to create the base point that will work as an axis or as a base to create a, the, the other copy. So my base will be this point to this point, enter. So you see it's creating another um, copy over here. You want to, you, do you want to raise this source object? No, I want to keep it. So now I have my other two columns. I want to raise this one. And now I'm going to create the external columns. This is separate seven feet, one inch away of this one. So we are going to copy this one, seven inches, seven feet, sorry, one inch, right? Enter. So uh, now I need to create the rest of the columns. In this case, what I'm going to do is to use array again, but I'm going to use this time polarate. So I'm going to use select the subject I want to copy, enter, now I'm going to use the center point. I'm going to use this line because it's in the center of all these um, columns. And I think it's the best option we have. Send, enter. Now we have to modify. Um, items. I think eight items. Let's check how it looks with eight items. Eight. So we see one, two. Well, I think looks really good. We have the same angle and we have um, the amount of object, object we want. So let's say enter and that's it. We need to raise this one. So now we have all the columns we need to, to create our drawings. And on the next video, we are going to continue with this drawing. We are going to create the walls. Uh, we're going to create the rest of the elements. And we also, we also we are going to learn how to work with blocks. So stay tuned because I'm going to upload the next video shortly. So stay safe and see you in the next video. Thank you.